Hi, I'm Bill Dougal. My program is called Fish Fact Fun. With music. Now, we're going to learn about fish. What they eat, how they eat, and how they find what they eat. We'll learn how fish behave. Hey, you're going to behave, right? Is this a good group, Mrs. X? I'd give them the seal of approval. No, sea creatures adapt themselves in very interesting ways. Now, I've done some research and I found that I know a lot of sea creatures. Do you want to know a lot of sea creatures? Yes! yes. That's a good answer. I know one called a porpoise. I know one called a seal. I know one called a walrus. I know one called an eel. I know one called a dolphin. One called a squid. One called plankton. One called cod. I know sea creatures. Yes, I do. I know sea creatures. Yes, I do. You want to learn more? Yes, I do. Sea urchin. I'm the one called a crab. I'm the one called a sturgeon. One called a chub. One called a snapper. One called a hake. One called a grouper. One called a sea snake. I know sea creatures. Yes, I do. I know sea creatures. Yes, I do. Do you want to learn more? Yes, I do. I know one called an otter. I know one called a snail. I know one called a flounder. One called a whale. I know one called a stingray. One called a conch. One called a moray. I know sea creatures. Yes, I do. I know sea creatures. Yes, I do. Do you want to learn more? Yes, yes I, I do. do. You can learn about visual fractions as you learn to draw people. Now, fractions aren't just numbers in a math class. I use them to draw things. I divide up the thing I want to draw into parts. I compare the parts to each other so I can draw the whole thing correctly. Now, here's a picture of a face. Her head is oval and she has features. Eyes, nose, mouth, ears. Now, this grid divides her head into four pieces. One, two, three, four. One, two. Two down. That's two out of four, two-fourths. Half of two is one. Half of four is two. So that means one-half. One halfway down is where the eyes go. Most people think they're higher than half, but I, I think they're halfway down, don't you? Now, what's down here at the three-quarter line, the top of the mouth? One, two, three. Three out of four, three-quarters. There's where the top of the mouth goes. These are the typical proportions of the face. And the ears, the top of the ear lines up with the eye. The bottom lines up with the top of the mouth. So it looks like the bottom of the ear is what fraction down? Three-fourths, right. Now here's a picture of my brother. Well, he's not really my brother. He's really my half-brother. Ah, let's take a look at his head. Yep, there's his head. Let's see how many heads will fit into the height of his body. We'll use the head as the unit in our fraction. Boing. One, two, three, four, five, six. That means his head is what fraction the height of his body? One sixth. Halfway down, halfway down. That's where the hips are, halfway down. Now, here's a picture of a guy with non-typical proportions. Let's check out his head. Two. Two pieces out of six. That means the fraction for his head is two-sixths, otherwise known as one-third. Ooh, his waist is real low, too. Huh. 
What a crazy looking guy. When you do cartoons, you can change the typical proportions, but you should think about them. When you do a realistic picture, you should think about how they are in the typical arrangement. Now, I'm seven heads high. I'm not bragging. It's just that different people have different proportions. Now, proportions are how one part of something relates to the other part of something. Now, if I'm seven heads high, what fraction relates to the height of my head to my body? One seven. Let's learn to draw a caricature. Now, a caricature is a cartoon style portrait. It's not a photo. It's not a realistic drawing. It's not a made up cartoon face. It's an artistic interpretation of a face. It's simplified, stylized, and exaggerated. Now here's the plan for a typical face. Here's a photograph of a typical face. I'll identify some fractions. Halfway down, the eyes. Three quarters of the way down, the top of the mouth. Now let's see where the ears are. I'll do it with my hand. Top of the ear lines up with the eye. Bottom of the ear lines up with the nose. So we'll keep those things in mind. We have two eyes, but we might have room for five eyes. One eye in between and two on the sides. If there's two eyes and there's room for five, what's the fraction? Two fifths. Yep. My eyes take up two fifths the width of my head. We'll look at the features of a man like this and think, hmm, let's see, what stands out regarding size, shape, or position of the features? Now this man has a lot of forehead, so I say his eyes are more than halfway down. His eyes look far apart too. His chin looks small. Hey, I'll keep those things in mind as I draw him. Hold still, Will. Wow, your eyes are far apart, Will. Scruffy little beard. Looks a little weird. Short curly hair. That's cool. Now I bet you want to hire me to do a presentation. Well, you can find me at my website, dougalart.com. That's spelled D-O-U-G-A-L-A-R-T dot com. Hi, now it's time for some fast draw fun. I've taken the Common Core Learning Standards and found a way to have some fun with them, doing some cool drawings. And as we do that, we're learning about math and art. These shape pictures can help achieve goals in math education. Teachers call them Common Core Standards. Some are about geometry. That's a kind of math that's all about shapes. Now, here's a standard for kindergarten. Identify and describe shapes. Describe objects in the environment using names for shapes. A circle could be a bagel. An oval could be a dish. A square, a piece of bread. A rectangle, a purse. A trapezoid, a DVD box. A triangle could be an apple turnover. This shape was two things, the snail and the bird. You know what? Out of this shape, I got four things. 
Let's see if I can line them up. See, same shape. Bird. Here's a picture of a dog named Spot. Or it could be a lady's hat. Fast draw, fast draw. Talk about fast draw fun. Hey, look at me, I got a lady's hat on. <laughs> Let's have fun, but it's good to plan to plan out your drawing. I planned out this drawing. I plan to write the word plan in a certain way and to turn it into a face. Yep, there's the plan man. Hey. Hi, here's my sketchbook of drawing tricks. I call them fast draw funnies. Just look and laugh. Ha! Or draw. <laughs> Hello, I'm Linda Lamp. I like to do it all. Draw a seahorse, turn it, make a face around it. Mustache man. I want warm tea, not worm tea. <laughs>